try getting through this next story without having a, a tear swell up in your eye. 91-year-old Vivian Boyack and 90-year-old Alice Noni Dubes, after 72 years together, got married on September 6th. So, a small group of family members and close friends came to the ceremony at Davenport's First Christian Church. They held hands throughout the entire ceremony, and the female reverend who was doing the ceremony, named Linda Hunsacker, reportedly told the couple, quote, this is a celebration of something that should have happened a very long time ago. So the best friend of the women said, quote, I've known these two women all my life, and I can tell you they are special. This is a very special day for all of us. Now, let me show you the picture of them together at the wedding. For conservatives, are you going to tell them no? How could you do that? For everybody listening on the live show, uh, it's two 90-plus-year-old women sitting in their wheelchairs, all dressed up, holding each other's hands, looking up to the reverend with sparkling eyes excited and happy about the fact that they're getting married, which is probably something they wanted to do all the way back in the 1950s and 60s. I mean, look, I don't think I'm, you know, an emotional guy in the sense that I cry a lot, although I did recently cry when I was given a best man speech at my uh, one of my best friend's weddings, so maybe that's not true. But when I see this, I mean, man... You know, you know, it's just something boils up inside you and you go, holy shit, I cannot believe for the life of me that anybody can be so loathsome where they look at these people and they say, no, we're not gonna let ya. We're not gonna let ya because it, you, your beliefs disagree with my religion or my interpretation of my religion and uh, I want to put my ideology on you and force it via law and I want to take away your happiness because something, God, religion, culture, yada yada. It's like there's no good argument against it. Uh, I mean... When it comes to the issue of gay rights, as I've said time and time again, there are no two sides to it. You see what I'm saying? Okay, there are two sides, but one of them is totally not legitimate. One of them is you're a moron who uh, is totally incapable of human emotion and altruism and sympathy and empathy, right? And the other position is, oh, you're rational. Oh, you think people should be able to do whatever they want to do as long as they're not hurting anybody else and it's consenting adults. One side is rational and correct. The other side is flat out wrong. And when you see a situation with two 90 plus year old women getting married who've been madly in love their entire lives and stayed together their entire lives, you think that's right right there. Because it's not just about a title. It's not just about social acceptance. It's also about hardcore rights. It's also about, hey, now you're giving them the same uh, uh, rights under tax law, under social security law, under inheritance law. All these different things. Uh, there are legal situations involving a will that now are squared away and taken care of when they're married. And before, it, what you're telling gay people is, sorry, we're just not going to treat you like first class citizens. You're second class citizens. And it's about fucking time that we move forward even more, and we stop this bullshit where, what is it now, 17 states you're allowed to legally get married, gay people are allowed to legally get married? Okay, it's pathetic we're not even at half of the states, but it's also pathetic we're not, we haven't done it at a federal level. Democratic president, Democratic Senate, not proposing any bills to legalize gay marriage? How embarrassing. I don't care about your talky, talky, talky lip service. Get your shit together. If you propose a bill in the, 
and the House Republicans block it, fine, let them fucking block it. And then you slam them with that in the next election cycle and say, hey, 59% of the American people want gay people to get married. These guys blocked it. Ask the Republicans why they hate democracy and why they hate you, why they hate the American people. Ask them why they hate gays. If you propose it and they slap it down, propose it again, let them slap it down again. If you keep proposing it and they keep slapping it down, fine, crush them with it in the next election. Or when you finally get a vote on it and they vote it down instead of not allowing a vote on it, then you crush them with it again. You just keep fighting until you get it through because we know we're right and we know how history is going to judge the situation. So there's no excuse not to have gay marriage legal on a federal level at this point.